brain rot. This term has gained a lot of popularity over the past year or two, but many people fail to realize that brain rot has always been around us. So here is an attempt at a history lesson of brain rot. Let's start off with some of the stuff we watched growing up. Now, most of these shows had in-depth, valuable lessons that you could take on with you for the rest of your life. And then there were shows like Fanboy and Chum Chum, shows like Teletubbies. These types of shows were pretty popular, but they provided about zero educational value. I would be spending my day watching mindless cartoons like Johnny Test and wonder why I was failing second grade. That is just some of the origins of brain rot, but I would like to focus on the origins of brain rot on the internet. The early days of YouTube featured Fred and Annoying Orange as some of the most popular YouTubers. The Annoying Orange was so popular on YouTube that it even led to Cartoon Network making an Annoying Orange TV show. And to no one's surprise, it absolutely failed. But I liked it and I watched it thoroughly. But as time progressed, we moved on to bigger and better things. And now it was all about being an MLG master. MLG consisted of flashing seizure-inducing colors, oh baby a triple, that one dancing frog thing, spinning effects, and of course Shrek and Mountain Dew, and of course Doritos. Now let's move on to around like 2017 to 2019. This was kind of like a dry spell for this type of brain rot. I guess you could say this was like the Great Depression for brain rot. I mean, we did have Sprite Cranberry and like Ugandan Knuckles. Ugandan Knuckles was our skibbity toilet. That was also when Vine was really popular and there were like random Vines that people would say constantly until they turned like blue in the face. People would be hitting the dab saying, what are those? And what, what other Vines were there? I'm starting to blank here. Like, look at all those chickens. I think that was one. And there was also that war between PewDiePie and T-Series and that got pretty heated. What a time to be alive. Then we moved on to like 2020 and early 2021. And there definitely was their fair share of brain rot. I mean, you had that like the baby car meme. And then you had that LeBron James toy that people were filling up with water. Hey, I'd be lying if I said I never partook in any of these trends because I did. This also had the trilogy of I Show Speed versus Talking Ben and Kuma La La versus Sylvester. This was kind of like the civil war for brain rot. There was that Burger King ad that would play constantly. Even in the middle of NFL games, when you'd see a grown man's career end on national television, they're still playing that Burger King ad and people were making memes and of it. And now we're here. At present day, we have like... Riz, Baby Gronk, the TikTok Riz party. I mean, it's just hard to keep up with these days now. Not gonna lie. But to sum it up, I guess we've always had brain rot around us. It was just a matter of when we find out. But I am very tired of talking about it. My brain is like, I need to go outside, touch some grass, do something productive with my day. So yeah, I'm gonna head out. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. Love you. Mm -hmm.